All right, Paul. Well, flatten the curve has become the rallying cry of our efforts to fight the pandemic. But tonight, the researcher who helped coin that phrase is cautioning about the risks of loosening restrictions too soon. Dr. Frank McGeorge has a closer look at what we can learn from a past outbreak. It's been 14 years since Dr. Howard Markell of the University of Michigan conducted his research on the impact of social distancing, research that is now helping guide today's politicians through this current pandemic. When you're in the fog of war, it's very hard to see exactly where you are. But I think the preliminary data is showing that we are flattening the curve in that we are lowering the number of cases and deaths per day. But Dr. Markell says history teaches us we can't let up now. His research focused on 43 American cities and their actions during the 1918 Spanish flu pandemic. Of those 43 cities, 23 cities did uh, react early and in a later banner of these social distancing measures, but they released the break too early and then they had a second peak, which often was worse than the first peak. This is what that scenario could look like, resulting in far more deaths and another extended period of social distancing and closures. Take a look at the graph on the left. In 1918, St. Louis acted quickly to put in place strong social distancing measures. Deaths stayed low. But then they said, well, you know, it's time to relax the measures, which is a normal response. And then they saw the cases go right back up because it had not gone down enough to make sure it doesn't recirculate on a wide scale. The lesson for today, if we open up too soon, uh, we risk the coronavirus spreading even worse. And then we will have endured all of these uh, restrictions for nothing. Markell says to make this progress stick, we need to hold on until new cases reach a low enough point that they can be managed with contact tracing and isolating just those who are sick or exposed. We are not there yet. Back to you.